Yes, Stone. Yeah, you're eating right now. You're eating cucumber. Cucumber, we just learned. Eating cucumber. Um, I teach her, I've taught her sign language, a couple things like sleep, eat, um, all done. What else do you know? Outside, wait, <laughs> outside, in, oh wait, inside, toilet, cucumber, watermelon, water, that kind of stuff. Clearly, these are all very useful to somebody that is her size. But, um, yeah, so after yoga today, day 29, yoga with Adrian, 30 days of yoga. I, um, I don't know, I just got to thinking. Earlier, well, earlier today, somebody had said something about them being in depression, feeling, feeling very severely depressed, and, you know, breaking out into tears and things when they're just sitting there. And I just wanted to say, because in our society now, a days, you know, if you're depressed or sad or angry, these things are not, like, it's not okay. It's not okay to be angry or depressed. But, like, and a lot of spiritual teachers and spiritual people will make it seem as though it, that's not okay. But in reality, we have these emotions, and it's totally okay. Depression, anxiety, fear, sadness, grief, guilt, all of these things, it's like they're, they're a, um, like the dashboard of your car. It's like the dashboard of your car. They're there to alert you to things, to inform you, to tell you something, you know? So it's important to not just sit in the feeling, but also to ask yourself why you feel this way, to get to the root of the issue and to make changes if need be. All anger is, is, a trick or is it's a it's a signal for you to change something if you're constantly feeling angry change something there's something in your everyday that needs changing just like you change the baby's diaper we change things nothing in life is is forever <laughs> uh-oh baby hey megan nothing in life is forever and like nothing, no thing is forever. Nothing lasts. Everything changes, everything. The only constant is change. So when we feel, even when we're happy and excited and all of these things, that's gonna change too. You're gonna feel sad again, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to not feel like the greatest mom in the world. It's okay to to sit there and cry in a corner and just be like, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Why did I have kids? It happens and it's okay. Also, it's um, National Turtle Mental Health Week or something like that. And so of course, like in my group, my tribe of supportive mothers, we've been, ha we've been talking about postpartum depression and you know, things like that happen when our hormones decrease. Cause it happens, and it happens to me too because I breastfeed her. The more food she eats, the less milk she drinks, the less hormones I have in my body and everything goes whack. So I even feel completely out of sorts at times. But that's okay. It's okay to feel. Oh, my phone is ringing. I'm busy. <laughs> it's okay for me to not answer my phone right now. Are you gonna go get it? Okay, but what was I saying? Yeah, in our society, it's like it's not okay to feel like we have to like remain happy or we have to like put on airs as though we're always happy, even when we're not. And it's like, and so that's why we get into things like drug abuse and, and alcohol abuse. Alcohol is a drug. I don't know why we separate it. Like it's not a damn drug. Like, caffeine's not a damn drug. Like, so we have certain drugs that are okay in our society, but the second somebody uses heroin, oh my god, but the second somebody uses heroin, oh my god, they're a horrible person. Yeah, the hypocrisy, it just, it makes me crazy. It really does. It makes me fucking crazy. I'm not even gonna pardon my French. I said fuck. <laughs> you see the dog? Yeah, dog. 
our neighbors are not out there today, which is pretty cool because usually, like, our neighbors are, like, right there, so usually you can, like, hear them, but they're not outside today. They are not here. Um, yeah, but, like, oh, yeah, and stress. What is stress but just fear with a different word? It's just a different way to describe fear. I'm stressed out. I don't know where I'm gonna where I'm gonna find the money to pay my bills. Okay, but the money's always there, and the bills always get paid. And even when they don't get paid and things fall off, you're still okay. At the end of the day, you still have breath in your lungs, and that's what's most important. If you don't have breath in your lungs at the end of the day, you are dead, and your experience here on Earth is over. It's over. Like there's no more for you. It's over. So as long as there's breath in your lungs, that that's the kicker. Okay? Focus on that. Every it, I, mean, I get stress it's not like I get stress stress. But it's like I, I I feel the fear and I understand that like wow, like oh no, how are we gonna pay our bills or, or where is the next meal gonna come from or, or whatever or wherever it may be. Gas in the car. I don't drive, but like where are we going to get the gas in the car? But again, like, when you look back at those times in your life, do you remember those times in your life when you're on the ground and you're crying and you're like, I'm not going to make it through this. This is impossible because of X, Y, and Z. This is it for me. It's over. And yet, the sun, rose, the sun came up the next day. The sun is still here. Oh, the phone's ringing again. This is probably important. Breastfeeding. And I'm doing a live video. Let's go get this phone. Come on, butts. But yeah, remember that day? When you were on the ground and you were like, man, everything's stupid and I'm going to die. And you didn't die. Same thing applies. Who this is? Oh, I missed it. La da da da, la da. What are they doing? Hold line two. Hello? No, nope, they're definitely not there anymore. Why am I holding line two? Do I have a line two? Two missed calls. It's from my partner. What are you lost about, Matt? I was just talking about fear. Do 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 do. <gasps> Hi. Mama. Yes, Stone. Hey. Nothing, doing a live video. What's up with you? Okay. I love you. Bye. Yeah, I was giving you milk, but then we had a call. She's over here. Milk. <laughs> here. Oh, you want the phone now? I thought you wanted milk. What happened? Babies. Um, he needs me to do something. How do I do this on the thing? Do, 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 do. Hold on. Can I do it like this? Can you let me know? Was that going the whole time? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. Remember that time when you were, like, on the ground and... <laughs> Screaming and crying that everything was not working out, and yet it worked out. That's kind of like what we've got going on here. Stress? There's no point in stress. I mean, I don't want to say there's no point in stress, but like stress is really just fear. And fear of the unknown. It's, it's not trusting in the universe and not trusting that everything is working out for your highest good. So like, we gotta just relax. Relax into it. Like I said yesterday, I took a big, like, trust fall into the universe and just basically, like, <sighs> and you know what? I'm okay. I'm actually doing a lot better now than I was before when I, when I just let the trust fall happen. Milk. Milk. Enough. Enough. these emotions that you feel it's okay and like I said it's, yeah stress is really just fear and not trusting the universe and all of these things and it's okay to feel fear it's not okay to let fear drive the car 
just like I said the other day. It's like you're driving the car to your life. You're like, oh, I'm going to go over here. This is what, this is the experience that I would like to go after. Fear is in the back seat saying, you can't do that. Don't go there. Okay, but fear is not driving. You're driving. So if you still want to go over there, go over there. You don't have to listen. And yeah. But again, it's okay to feel it. It's not okay to let it drive. It's okay to be present with your emotions and to sit there with them and to even be quiet and just... Because they're emotions. It's energy and motion. Let it be motion. When we get caught up in the sadness and we let it rule our lives and we get stuck in the sadness. Like, let's say that a good friend of ours dies. And, I mean, that's very sad. You know, of course, we miss our friend. We want them to be there with us. But at the same time, would we? Would, do you think that your friend would want you to be sitting there for the rest of your life and just depressed and and lonely and you know you won't leave the house and you and you feel so sad and you, it, everything's bad for you? Do you think that that's the kind of life that your friend wants you to see? Like, like was that is that how you be honoring your friend? Is that how you best honor your friend? No. You know, so it's like. Just let the emotions come. We let them come over. We may even serve them a cup of tea. But you know what happens after that? We open the door and we let them leave. You know? We can't hold on to the happy as much as it's so much fun to bop around with a head full of molly. You know? And just be like, I'm so happy. Wee! Hey, I spent a lot of years like that, okay? As, as fun as that is... You still come down, and you come down so much harder. Okay, but you disconnected yourself, and then you immediately say milk. Here. But yeah, like... <laughs> You're welcome, Mallory. And, and as much as we want to, like, feel really, really strong, well, you can't feel really strong until you feel vulnerable. And you can't feel happy until you feel sad. And when we use substances that numb us, and yes, numb is a feeling. Numb is a feeling. And when we constantly numb, we're again holding on to a feeling. We're letting it get stuck in us. And it's energy in motion. So we need to let, let it flow. Just let go. Let it flow, let it flow, let it go. See, Tony Braxton was on to something. <laughs> yes, don't. But yeah, so like, why is my phone beeping? Did I hang it up? I might not have hung it up. Nope. It's still holding line two. I don't, I don't have a line two. <laughs> Do you need some more milk? Here. Try the other side. Try your luck at that side. What else was I gonna talk about today? Do 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 do. We gotta make changes to our world, and you know, like when we see anger, how I said we have to, it's that's an indication of the changes that we need to make, because that's clearly us saying that's not us living to our highest, our highest good. That's not a, that's not what we're doing. And then when we feel the anger, it's time to make changes. So make changes, and it's not like pointing at somebody else and saying, you're, you're mean, and, and it's you that needs to change. It's really us. It's us that needs to change. Our relationship with ourselves, how we treat others. How we treat ourselves is really how we treat others. And I don't care if you say, I'm the nicest person to everybody else, but I beat up on myself. If you're beating up on yourself... Even if you think you're being nice to other people, you're still beating up on them. You're still giving them random passive-aggressive guilt trips. If you're sitting there like, I, I extend myself to you, I'm a martyr, I'm working myself to the bone, and I don't even eat half the time. Well, what, are you really helping anybody? Or are you just giving them a guilt trip? Are you guilting people? Because clearly nobody wants to like, like, I don't want to, I don't want to be party to your guilt trip, like... If, if it's so bad for you to take care of me, or if, it, or if it's so bad for you to stick your arm out for me, or to stick your neck out for me, don't do it. Don't do it, because I don't want you to hurt yourself. I don't want you to be in pain. But that's my relationship with myself. Like, 
I will take care of me or I will do whatever it is that you feel you need to do for me so that you don't have to feel all this pain. Because at the end of the day, like, compassion really means you love somebody so much that you want them separate from the pain, from what harms them. And not just like sensations of pain, but what really harms them. Which is why when people say compassion for animals, I don't care who you are, an animal enters a slaughterhouse. It's called a slaughterhouse. They come out in pieces. They go in alive. They come out dead and in pieces. That's harm. So when we say we want compassion for animals, we want them to be separate from their, from their pain, from harm. And that's why we choose to eat a a vegetarian or vegan diet and i'm not saying like you know be vegan and i'm not doing that because i refuse to be vegan i am a i have a plant-based diet and that's good enough for me i don't like the word vegan so many angry folks walking around today like just chill out man what else did i write down you're gonna i wrote down yeah these pain like I said, these pain or these sensations. We are here on Earth to to live, to have the sensations. Because in the higher dimensions, you don't feel. You don't, you don't, you can't, like right now I feel the wind on my face. And it's cool. It's the cool wind on my face. But like in higher dimensions, you don't feel that. You don't feel the red hotness of anger. You don't feel the the how your cheeks get all red when you feel embarrassed. You don't feel those things. And like, we are here to feel. So when we numb, yes, we're feeling, but we're holding on to a feeling. And it totally defeats the purpose of why we're here. So like, and, and I'm even one to say, like, as the more I've like removed from the substances that I have used or that I use, the more I'm realizing that food in itself is a substance that is a drug that can be used. Me and these potatoes, I tell you what, these starchy ass, salty ass potatoes. Arr! But I'm, I can see it and I'm, and I'm noticing it and I'm, I'm observing it now and I'm willing to make changes. But for right now, I love me some tater tots. <laughs> you see the kids? You see the kids out there? What are the kids doing? Dogs. No, they're not dogs, they're kids. Dog. Dog. Everything is a dog to her. If it's not a human, even if it's a human, it's a dog. Every, it's a dog. Those are kids on the bike. It's a dog. dog. But yeah. And I'm like getting together. I don't know if you've heard, but I'm putting together this date yourself challenge and I'm coming up with these dates for the people and it's just I'm like thinking about it and I'm, I'm I'm feeling like happy and joyful like you see where my hand is like I'm happy and joyful right here in my heart and I'm I'm coming up with these things and these ideas and I just I'm seeing people read read what I've written and then they're like oh my god Bradley you really want me to do that okay and then to, to feel like yeah like I just want, I want, I want to give this feeling, this love feeling right here in my chest, I want to be able to give it to you and have you receive something, open it up and have that feeling be inside there. So my date yourself challenge is a five day, it's free, it's a five day challenge, you know, I'm going to send emails out to everybody that signs up and then afterwards there's going to be an offer to do a 10 day love yourself boot camp because who doesn't need more love but it's like finding these things these things that enhance love that cultivate love within within the body and within the self and in the psyche it's so it feels like fun and and it's fo me following my joy following my passion because I love myself, I do, and and I have so much love to give. I have I have these really big boobs, and when I was younger, you know, people would be like, ah, big boobs, big boobs, and I would be so embarrassed. But it's like literally the size of my heart chakra. They're huge. I have lots of love to give, 
I have so many. My baby will never go hungry because I, even even before I had her, I still lactated. And I only breastfed for a year. And I still lactated from the time I got pregnant with her. Hey, Doria. Hey, Valerie. Yeah, it is interesting. Like, I hope... I'm going to share a couple URLs in the description. The Date Yourself Challenge URL so you can get your email on the email list. And I'm going to be sending, like I said, I'm going to be sending out emails. And there's going to be a whole group and it's going to be a whole thing. And it's like, I just want, so I want everybody to share it and, and share this video and, and share the challenge. I just, I just want to share this love that I have, that I've cultivated within myself with other people. And the whole idea of the challenge is to get you to look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. I really, really love you. And really, really mean it. And I believe that we can get people, I can get people firmly on the path to self-love. And, and instead of it being like hazy, and instead of being like, I love myself, and yet adamantly doing things to hurt the self, I believe that we can just get those thoughts and the, and the actions and the intentions all lined up so we can all be, we can be more authentic people within ourselves. Whoa, you figured out how to open the pen? Ew, baby, there's dirty stuff on it. There you go. What are we saying? <laughs> oh, you guys know each other. Do you know each other? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you do know each other. Doria, you and I worked together, didn't you? And then Mallory, you and I used to ride the bus right before I got put on to fo put into foster care. Oh my God, a million and a half years ago. I was in foster care. One of these days, I'm just going to make a video and be like, I know that I seem like a bottle of sunshine, but the kind of life that I led before, oh my gosh. But what's really crazy is like, okay, I'm a Pisces slash Aries cusp. I was born the last day of the Zodiac year, March 20th, on the equinox. So like, my birthday is highly symbolic and like, especially like the, all of the things that I do, it's like just literally the most. Um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, but since I'm a Pisces, I definitely have very strong and deep feelings. So like, people think that Pisces are crazy. We like, we can go from super happy and joyful because we experience all of the emotions to extremely depressed, extremely spiteful, and extreme, oh my gosh, we can, we're the extremes in the emotional thing. And I'm not saying that I don't still feel them, man, I feel anger, but it's okay to feel it. And that's what I talked about today. Let me go ahead and wrap this thing up. Depression, anxiety, stress, which is really just fear of the unknown, sadness, anger. We desperately need these. We need these emotions. It's important and it's okay to feel them and it's okay to experience them. It's not okay to hold on to them and to let them... Yes, don't. What does that mean? It's not okay to hold on to them and to let them stay in the body and get stuck. It's emotions, energy and motion. Let the feelings go. Let them flow through you. Let's see. And like I said, anger, when we feel anger, it's time to make changes. We don't need to feel angry all the time. You don't need to feel it, but you can and it's okay. But when you do feel it, it's just like a... I gotta change something. This, whatever happened, whatever this is, it's not okay. Not okay. Um, and then the pain. Okay, Stone. Pain and sensation in the body are totally okay. And that's why we're here. We're here to feel. We're not here to be numb. We're not here to just let society walk all over us. You're here to form connections and to love each other and to love ourselves. And also, the date yourself, my date yourself challenge that I'm currently coming up with, it just, whoever does it, it's just going to be a whole bunch of fun. And you're going to go on dates with yourself and you're going to get to know yourself and you're going to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. 
I really love you and really, really mean it. Let me see. What else we got on here, but... Oh, yeah, like I said, share, share this video. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll never miss a video. I, I, when I'm done with these, I just upload it immediately. Also, I'm going to start putting on, like, an extra video for those that are subscribers. So... You're going to have to go ahead and check out my channel to see all of my videos with Stone 2. And then, this was really fun to do Facebook videos this week. So I think next week I'm going to do videos <laughs> starting, I'm going to do videos starting from about 6 to 7.30 p.m. Depending on her. Clearly she's almost done. <laughs> So, and then I'll start them. They're going to run about 20 minutes or so. And la da 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 da. Yeah. You can follow me on Instagram. You can join my date yourself challenge with the offer for a 10 day love yourself boot camp. It's going to be awesome. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will see you next week. Can you say uh, bye? Can you say bye? Say bye bye, people of Facebook. No, you can't say bye now. Oh, you are waving. Bye bye. <laughs> I love you. Dad, dad. He's not here yet. He's power washing. All right, see y'all later. Bye. And wait, finish.